the redesign of this 1980s home includes a, a very substantial kitchen area. So how does the way you laid out the kitchen uh, meet the client's needs? The uh, social kitchen uh, was obviously the, the forefront and the design of that was obviously primarily that we had a nice own sitting zone and, and a bar zone. Um, then it was to take up the whole wall expanse. Um, so that was quite easy, the client really had a mind for and having a little office at the end, so it really catered for standing people. You could sit and have breakfast and then you could have the office um, little area and then secondary the, the, the main cooking part of the kitchen in the back. And what about the materials and colours? How did you approach that? The palette was obviously once again open plan kitchen was just to keep it really beachy, very simple and this approach. So, the palette needed to be simple and we only used one major accent being the major bar that the standing bar and the colour it was um, to be you know more prominent but really everything else just did need to be very tonal um, never to be caught out by the, the test of time. What we're seeing so far is really only half the story there's a, there's a large second working kitchen behind this front kitchen so what's in there? Second kitchen, um, basically a cool room, quite a substantial size. Um, the fridges, ovens and wall oven, uh, ergonomics, the, the cooktops, which so for everything that someone would need in a, in a real, probably even a, a restaurant kind of kitchen, was to be put back there. Obviously acidically, it didn't want to be impacting on the, on the front, so you could go in the back, slide the door closed to cut off that whole area and be quite self-contained.